I shed many a tear with this choice. It was scary. And trust me, my family, my brothers and mother and everybody thought I was out of my frickin' mind. I was leading a successful life as an actor. I was the go-to rom-com guy. I liked doing rom-coms. They paid well. But I remember noticing at that time that my life was getting very deep. I had found the love of my life in Camilla. We had a newborn coming. I have more joy. I have more sadness. The extremes, the ceilings in the basement of my own emotions in my life had more depth and more height to them. So my work, I felt like, oh, I've got to kind of compress that with these rom-coms. But I still said, boy, I'd sure like to do some work that challenges the vitality that I'm feeling in my life. And that work, dramas I was were not being offered to me. And so I talked to my wife, I talked to my agent, I talked to my business manager, uh, saying, look, I may not work for a while. I was in a position where I had saved my money and been frugal with it, because I'm not gonna do the films I've been doing. At the same time, my mom was having trouble seeing the line of privacy with my life and the fact that other people would love to know some of that information and might be wanting to use it against me. And the last place I wanted to have a leak is from my mother. And so I tried it out and she leaked a few. Then I was like, I just can't share this stuff anymore. And that led to many years of us just not really talking or getting very, very personal. So. I go on the sabbatical away from Hollywood. I say no to every rom-com script that comes into me. I even turn one down for $14.5 million. And when the word got around Hollywood that I did that, I think part of Hollywood said, oh, all right, McConaughey's not bluffing. <laughs> okay, quit sending him romantic comedies. He's really not doing them. Well, then nothing came in for over a year, almost a year and a half. And I was now shaking hands with the fact I may never work in Hollywood again. And then as life happens. Bring. Hello? Lincoln Lawyer. Killer Joe. Mud. Bernie. Magic Mike. True Detective. Dallas Buyers Club. All the things that I wanted just came to me and I just said, okay, here we go. After I got stable enough with my success and understood where I was and who I was, it was like, okay, I'm gonna take the reins off mom, I'm gonna let her go. And so she put on her short, short leather skirts, and started hitting the red carpet, and I was like, you go, girl, go get them. Say whatever you want, any stories on limits, go for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the Academy for this. If there's anything I would tell my 15 year old self and I'm told that I've taken a lot of risks, I would say take more. When we're embarrassed of failing, we don't want to fail because the world looks at us and goes na 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 boo boo. I say, you know what? As far as I can tell, those people that go na 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 boo boo when you fall down and fail, they're on the sidelines for a reason. <laughs> they're on the sidelines. To that I say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just keep living, huh? Thank you.